What should I do? I spent the coldest night I've ever spent sleeping on the ice here on Red Lake. So that was fun. I've just been fighting the lake itself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I caught Red Lake. Road trip time. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Fish Brain Chain here. I am in the truck with my, two of my sons, Brent and Jack. You can see that they're enjoying the road trip by catching up on some sleep. We're heading up to Red Lake. We're going to get some night walleye fishing in. It's about a five hour drive for me, so it's going to be quite the road trip. And uh, I understand that there's also going to be some weather to contend with when we get up there. Uh, Apparently there's a snowstorm coming in and it's going to be pretty difficult to get set up and tore down, but we're excited. We're going ice camping. I'm glad that you're here. We're going to bring the music it's right now. You ready? There it is. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing now. What should I do? See, I fought, I fought this whatever it is. Um, there was a time that I fought a, a log for over half an hour and a friend of mine drove by um, several times saw me fighting the log and because it was rolling in the waves I kept thinking well this is a snag and then I would think oh it's a fish it's a fish but this is a very similar feeling but there's no waves and I'm I've been pounding this hole with the jig like, you know, jigging off the bottom and nothing is getting hooked until I all of a sudden get something. A little while ago, I tried lifting it up. Oh, you can see it's pulling back right there. A little while ago, I tried lifting it up off the bottom. This, whatever it is, is just hugging the bottom. And um, so I tried just muscling it up off the bottom and it just snapped me off. That didn't work. You don't have to send the government. Was it really low? I was like so scared. Was it really close, Isaiah? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that would have been cool to see, dude. I thought that was ice. Well, we definitely heard it. The thing is, I don't even see this on the Vexlar, you guys. <laughs> we saw it there for a second. Am I just going to sit here like this? Is that what I'm going to do? Hey, I'm fishing in Red Lake. <laughs> this is you're, awesome. you're catching in Red Lake. I caught Red Lake. Here, let's see if we can see this guy, man. He might be making another pass. Oh, hell yeah. There he is. I want another Sonic move. There's another one. Right overhead. Oh my god, look at that. That is sweet. Boys, come outside. Sorry to take away from the fish. That was, I don't want to. Alright. Hand it back in. Everything. Alright, Johnny, careful when you step in, bud. Yeah, what is that? 
I'm gonna try and put wait, pressure John, wait, on John, it. Wait, John, wait, John, wait, John. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to put pressure on it with drag. You know, move it a little. Yeah. See if you can get another run out of it. Look Bring it up as fast as you can. Wait. Yeah. Mikey, can you see anything down there? Should I reel it? I'm fast reel. It's not going anywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't see anything. Are those back? Yeah. That is crazy. I've never seen yeah, anything like that. Cool. That's super cool, man. Uh, this is unbelievable. Like, what am I going to do, Mike? I don't know. Try hand lighting it. I don't know. Like, why? It feel like it. No, Johnny, hold on. Is that really? Broke my pole. So I just broke that off. That's unfortunate. That'll go down to the fish. Say what's up. Yeah. And then maybe he'll come up now. Yeah. And then you break another one off. Did I just hear this rattle? Yeah. There was a rattle. Was this one. Okay, keep an eye out. I think it was this one. It had a not clangy sound. Broke my hand. Trying to get whatever this all came off. I think I just worked it off a snag. Did you see that? What do you got? Nothing. Oh. Just the tip of my hair. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Hunting, dude. They're coming back, they're coming back. He's going away, he's going away. That one went right over us. Oh my god, right over us, dude. That is amazing. Oh. Oh. Air Force Jets! Yep, Air Force, Air Force, very likely. I know there's a base. Yeah, it could be Navy. Dude, why are you walking out here, man? He's out in his barefoot. Yep. Oh man, those jets are super cool. I bet they do. I bet they do a few more flybys. You know they know they're just giving everybody a show. Yep. Loving it. So I'm putting this on a line that I can horse it in. Sucker line. Feels like 84 pound test. Hopefully, 84. Hopefully it's strong. That, that time it felt like I got it loose from a, a snag. Which again, how come I'm not snagging every time, you know? This is weird. Pretty sure I felt something swimming though. I know but I did. To go down there and feel the same thing each time. This is kind of weird. Every time. Mm -hmm. Very weird, isn't it? Yeah. Like it makes you, it makes you truly believe that this is a Wendigo. Wendigo. The natives call it a Wendigo. It's a it's a spirit, a lake spirit, or a forest spirit. And I think that's what we've got going on here is a Wendigo. Wendigo. Hey, you guys. What? Respect the freaking Wendigo. Wendigo. I don't know what you're talking about. Wendigo. Catching anything over here? I know exactly what he's talking about. Wendigo. I'm catching everything. What's up, Ziggy? How you doing? What are you guys doing out there? Watching for jets? How cool was that? That was awesome. One flew over my head. It flew right over us. Was it even <laughs> was it even lower than that? Yeah. Like the first time? Mm -hmm. It felt closer. Oh my god, it felt like yeah, it was. The last one felt super close. It did. We're just gonna catch this fish quick. What if there's like seven fish attached to it? Just a <laughs> stringer or something. Then we're gonna catch seven fish attached to a stringer. Yeah. <laughs> That again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the sun, fish. Look at all those fish bodies just hanging out. Hello. Oh, where's the freaking glare? There you go. But this has been the extent of my action, you guys. And Mike's got a nice 19-inch walleye laying on the ice out there. But 
other than that, none of us have had any luck. I spent the coldest night I've ever spent sleeping on the ice here on Red Lake. So that was fun. And then uh, beyond that, I've just been fighting the lake itself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I caught Red Lake the last three times. So now I'm going to see if this line is strong enough to actually bring Red Lake in. <laughs> what? <laughs> if I pull in the lake, what do you say? What, what, what do you say? Are you going to pull a reverse? What do you say? Pull a reversal on the lake or pull a... Reverse removal. Reverse removal on the lake. <laughs> yeah, Give good. me the old hook in the bottom. <laughs> oh, oh, I was caught. I was caught on something there. Did you see that? Yeah, I didn't see it, but I heard you and believed you. I believe you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the belief. I definitely got caught on something there. It's either caught on something or something bit it, but it, it doesn't. I'm not feeling that indicative. I'm feeling that indicative. <laughs> so, we're going to bring out the shotgun that they used to kill Mary. <laughs> bottom of Red Lake, or maybe it's a Wendigo is biting me, or maybe Red Lake itself is biting me. Oh, nothing. Yeah, see, right? Oh my god. Oh, boys. Okay, so this is likely my line from earlier. Let's get it on the from this, so I don't want to lose that. But... Oh, this is legit right now. Hold on. Hold on. Watch out oh, for that hook. Yep, yep. I'm with you. It pulled loose. It appears we do have something down there that is catching me. And I have Look at that. retrieved my yes, lure. Let's go. Okay. Like so this is like bucks. the second best thing that could have happened out of all of this. Second best thing. Second best thing. I did bring a pole. <laughs> Which sucks because I did like that bowl, but whatever. Apparently, I have a snag there, and I shouldn't fish that hole. So. What do you think it is? <laughs> where, where are you going, Johnny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he literally just... there. Go ahead. Put it down. Bust it out the bottom. <laughs> Go for it, man. Put it down and bust it out the bottom. There's big fish. <laughs> Hey, if it's alive, go put it in our hole. We don't have any other holes out here. Dude, that's crazy. Shane's gonna go back down this one. I don't know if I am. Honestly. At this point, I'm kind of thinking... <laughs> Snag City? Yeah, USA. <laughs> this appears that I have... Uh, remember the story I told you earlier about the... List? The waves. You remember, right? You can comprehend about the waves. Um, well, while there are no waves here, I have done the ice fishing version of that story and fought the bottom of the lake, a log, somebody who was buried in the lake and tied to a cement block. I don't know what it is, but I got my bait back. We're just going to call it good and I'm not going to fish in that hole. All right, guys, that's a wrap on Red Lake. Mikey got a nice 19 inch fish that he woke up to on the rattle reel. Um, I didn't have a great experience the last time I came to Red Lake either. Um, I think it's uh, a lot of buildup for me and I'm not sure where to look on the lake and how to find the walleyes. And frankly, I'm more of a panfish guy and let me see if I can think of any more excuses. But you got to see me fight a fantastic fight, you know, against the lake itself. And, uh, you know, we just had a lot of fun. We got to ice camp, at least try it out a little bit and see what we like and what we don't like. And I can recommend that you do not ice camp with a an air mattress because it's ridiculously cold, coldest night I've ever spent. So we're gonna head back home. We're gonna have uh, you know some hot cocoa along the way, hopefully. And I'm glad you joined me for this short episode. Um, for me, for all the boys here fishing, fish bring the train out.